will be backlash against Mitch. Uh, I also think that it's uh, the same people that feel that way weren't exactly Mitch Landry supporters to begin with. This evening, we're taking a look at how the debate over the removal of Confederate-era monuments in New Orleans could affect the political legacy of Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson along with Tan Trung. Landrieu is in his final year as mayor and political analysts say the monument issue will impact how he's perceived when he leaves office, both good and bad. Paul Murphy joins us from the Jefferson Davis statue in Mid-City with the story. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Tan, Karen. Pro-monument supporters are keeping a vigil here at the Jefferson Davis statue. As you can see, they are set up on the corner here, waving their Confederate flags and some anti-Mitch Landrieu signs. On the other side of the street, you can see there are about a half a dozen or more NOPD officers set up guarding the monument, which is surrounded by four large city trucks. This monument is widely believed to be the next statue to be removed, possibly as early as this week. Many people on both sides of this debate are now looking at the monument issue as a defining moment for Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Signs like this have been cropping up across New Orleans, criticizing Mayor Mitch Landrieu for his position in support of the movement to take down four Confederate era monuments. The city administration isn't too phased by the negative messages. The mayor's communications director told us Mayor Landrieu is tackling tough issues. Signs aren't one of them. Political pollster Ron Fauché says the monument debate, although this late in Landrieu's second term as mayor, does complicate his political legacy. He came into office on a wave of great popularity, and, uh, and a lot of it was based on bringing the city together, on bridging the gaps. and. Uh, and now uh, it, it seems that the city is very divided. New Orleans voters give Landrieu mixed reviews. I haven't always supported everything that Mitch has done as mayor, but I do wholeheartedly support this. It's not a, the greatest reflection in the world that he'd have ever had. Uh, it's, it's a reflection showing, you know, a little more weakness than strength. I like Mitch, and I think he's going to be fine. You know, he's part of the 21st century. It's time that New Orleans gets with, gets with it. Fauché says the monument debate could impact Landrieu's political future. If Mitch Landrieu does have a serious interest in running for national office within the Democratic Party, uh, this issue would help him uh, because it could help him appeal to liberals across the country. Uh, on the other hand, if his objective would be statewide office in Louisiana, it would hurt him. So what does the monument debate mean for Mitch Landrieu if he wants to come back and take another run for mayor four years from now? That part of the story coming up tonight at 6. We're live in Mid-City, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Hi, Paul.